Hi everyone, and welcome along to today's video. Today, I'm looking at converting an old cupboard into an airing cupboard. Very easy job if the pipes are in the right place for you to convert. Now, I've done it to mine, I've got an airing cupboard out of an old cupboard, and it's something that is quite possible and easy to do. I'll show you how I've done mine, and it'll give you an idea whether it's possible for you. Let's have a look at mine. Here then is my old cupboard that I converted. This once housed a copper cylinder in here until I converted it to a combi boiler system. You can see all the racks that have been put in. Uh, this is to where the clothes on, made those up out of an old era anyway. Just bent them down. They've obviously got the slats across, which you'll need to do if you're gonna convert a cupboard to an airing cupboard. Do those, and then down the bottom here, a towel radiator. These make ideal absolutely bang on for a conversion this gives you heat you've got the rails that you can hang clothes on anyway and it's not too much heat in there but it's a lovely heat for drying the clothes and all you've got to do well <laughs> all you've got to do is literally just connect it into your heating circuit Mine was pretty easy because you know, we can see the pipes and connections going down there um, because it went down through the floor and I was able to run the pipe there. It goes to pipes there. There you can see right under there a maze of pipes I've got under the house. But it's fortunate for me because I can get under here. But there's the heating pipes going across here that they join into. They stab into the towel rail feeds. Now you're probably wondering with mine why have I got these pipes coming up here and coming across and over there? And that is because I also used this towel rail as a tee off for another towel rail in the bathroom itself. So it comes through the wall there and joins this towel rail here, which has towels right on it. Yes, it does. So how can we do this easily? It's so easy. It, 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 you can just plumb it into your heating circuit, or if you don't want to do that, you could just put a towel rail element in it, like so. There's one there, a towel rail element in there, and get some power into the cupboard and just plug it in. If you don't want to plumb it in to your heating system, you don't have to bother with all that. But I've done that just so I've got you know, the option. In the winter time when the heating's on, these get really hot as well, and I can turn the little element off there. Now I know you plumbers would have spotted a stopcock followed by a full bore lever valve and it goes off under that way, it goes out to an outside tap but they were put on there just to show you how to actually fit them on previous videos, I just haven't took them off yet. So just to give you a little idea on the drawing, you can see here a couple of radiators and the circuit going along there and literally it's a stab off the circuit, flow and return, stab them off into the towel rail and back and you're done. So I put a little switch there and an element in there in case you don't want to do all that stabbing in you just want to use an element that's fine also and uh, that's just all you need then is a power in the cupboard and the element in the bottom of the towel rail. Options yours I've got both and that gives me a lot of flexibility. There you go then how to get yourself an airing cupboard as I say you can use just an element in the bottom of the towel rail if you don't want to plumb it all in and just fill the radiator up with water obviously <laughs> but it will need constant topping when the level drops it's a little bit more hassle okay that's about it though all my stuff you want to go do it in 33 thanks for watching guys bye bye